Okay, welcome back. This is going to be a update of LEDs and Miracle Mud. The part two. Um, my parameters are all good as far as calcium and pH and nitrate, nitrite, um, alkalinity. Everything is all within range. Salinity is good. Um, that's been pretty consistent throughout the whole time. However, uh, I have lost a few corals. Um, I used to have that one fancy leather right through here, and now it's reduced. It turned all black, and now it's just reduced to that little spot right there. I cut it off and uh, kind of did its thing. Uh, just died on me. I don't know why. Just um, the only thing that people have been telling me is because my system. This is week or four months in right now, and my system is still still fairly young to have any kind of like you know fancy leathers or SPS corals. So <coughs> the other one that has died too is this. I don't exactly know. It was it was a green coral. It's right in there. It turned all bleached white. And uh, so I, you know, did the same thing. I kind of cut it off, and uh, just that little part you see pulsating right now is all that's left. But it looks like it's recovering. Um, this one up here, it's I think it's just completely dead. No, nothing out of it. I should probably just take it out and get out of this. Get another SPS coral. So. Uh, that green right here is the same leather, if you can see it right there, it's the same leather that was right down in the corner here. I just cut the piece off because it looked good, so I kept it, and it's, it's, you know, it's doing okay. We'll see if it works out for us. Fro frog spawn here is doing its thing, it's still okay. Oh, and I added some ladder tail antheists. I added three females and one male. The male's right there. Two Clarky clowns are still good to go. Um, and whatnot. Pulsating Xenia. That thing is, is going real good. It's about double its size if you compare the last video to this video. Double in size. This one here is doing excellent. As you can see, it just used to be the, the the bigger portion up there was full of corals. Now it's you know all the way down on its stem, starting to spread on out past the uh, the plug there, and looking real good. This here, same thing, it's doing fine. I hasn't I haven't seen too many new heads on it, but it hasn't died, so happy about that. Um, also here I have my my Duncan. That's looking good. Okay. And uh, it's getting bigger. Starting to spot feed it. And hopefully we'll get a couple more heads on it. But it all takes time. This is the green star pop. Right now it's not happy. I don't know why. Um, earlier today it was all out. Um, looking great. And then all of a sudden it's... Uh, just right now, as far as like recording it, it all closes itself in. Um, and then we have my leather. This used to be over there, and then I just moved it over to here, and it seems to be happy right there, so keep that there. This is a new coral. This is the blue hammer coral. Again, started spot feeding that. That's only been in here for about two weeks now, and, um, you know, Hopefully that'll be all good. This, I think they call it a watermelon zoo anthid or something like that. It has three heads. There's actually two more on the top of it. I don't know if we'll be able to focus in, but there's two more, so that's good that it's growing. Same thing with these. These used to be only three. No, there's about six in there. No, it's hard to see. But yeah, there's about six in there, so that's growing good. And then we have this chalice. 
it's just a little piece of chalice that someone you know gave me um, and uh, it's survived so far and I moved it from the bottom of the tank to this spot here to see if it'll calcify itself and then keep growing and then what else we got the nightmare zoanthids they're doing fine they're doing great this is a cap I have two caps this one here and that one there and as you can see this one has calcified itself to the rock and it's getting thicker along the edges and it's going to be hopefully growing good um, the fuzzy mushroom is going great this mushroom here this blue one has actually spread down to this one below it and there's another one it's inside the rock right in there and then there's another one back behind this over here so the mushrooms are doing great which is good to see so but then again those are pretty easy to, to keep from what I hear and we have this one this one is getting bigger by the day it's full it's so hopefully it looks like it's starting to spread onto the rocks and it's all good um, the sump 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 is fine um, I actually did have a leak that I fixed if you check the last video but uh, I got this red slime algae, I guess. I've determined that's what they're calling it. But uh, it's it's huge. If anybody needs any, let me know. Um, and here's the leak that I used to have that I fixed. I'm sorry if I can't get the camera back here. There's not enough room, but there's the piece I fixed. And it's okay. So that's good. Now, a couple people have asked me to update them on my freshwater tank. So, here is my freshwater tank. Try to keep the best of both worlds. Um, if you take a look at probably my first or second ever video I've ever put on YouTube, it was of my freshwater tank and this. Uh, Amazon sword here is quadrupled in size same thing with that plant um, that grassy looking plant all the fish are doing excellent and as you can see again my angels have eggs on the glass there's the female there's the male and it's pretty great <laughs> um, so yeah, best of both worlds, but uh, you know, salt water is, it's tough. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of upkeep, a lot of um, guessing, learning, waiting, and uh, you know, kind of go with the flow. I'm gonna wait probably another, what is this, four months in, I'm probably gonna wait two to three more months before I get another SPS coral and uh, try it out again as long as everything else in here s keeps surviving and living and everything you know and all that I will update you in another month or so and um, I've been doing water changes every once a month about 20 gallons and it's still got the GFO and carbon on here and no skimmer these lights are on 24 7 and the LEDs right now they're on a high noon blast it's very bright that middle row is the high noon blast and they're on for about eight hours eight and a half hours a day and another advice a person told me was um, I got dimmable, dimmable drivers. These here are the dimmable drivers for the LEDs. They were kicked up to um, 
7.9 and I just dialed them down to 7.5 just in case I was, um, if they were too hot, you know, too bright for my corals. Temperature is usually 78 to 80 all the time. Now that it's fall slash winter in Chicago and uh, that's where we're sitting. So maybe maybe my uh, lights LEDs were too bright and I bleached out the SPS corals. I don't know. And maybe it's just too early like everybody says, um, which I'm thinking that's what it was. But everything is progressing. I got a live, starting to be a live sand bed going on. Um, there are a ton of copiopods in here. A ton. I mean, I can, you can. It's hard to focus in on one of them, but you know, usually you will see something flying through here. Um, so yeah, that's where we sit, and that's what's happening. Any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching, part two.